Cham, your uh, health has been regenerated. Um, yep. Thanks to the strong healing potion and the night of special sleep. Uh, so you're back to full strength again. Uh, Velnos, you wake up on the cliffside a few feet down from Cham. And Hoden and Kane, you guys both wake up in the uh, streets down on like the lowest level, and you're still uh, watching up at the cliff face where uh, Velnos is sleeping. So Cham, you are you are back to uh, fighting strength, so to speak. I'm gonna knock on the door. Wade answers the door. Hello again. How you feeling? Please don't take a poop on me, lawn. Again. Take your shit on his lawn. Do it. <laughs> poop on his lawn. Again. All right, laddie. Let me get the beat. Oh. All right. He, he goes back behind the house and comes back out. He's, you're going to have to roll for initiative again. Maybe. <laughs> oh, he rolled lower. <laughs> he rolled lower, so Sam, you won't get to go first. The first That's one will hit. Time. All right, two damage. So you, you just basically nipped him. So he's he's coming back now. That will not hit. Woo! Oh, the first one's a nat 20. That's going to crit 14 damage. So yeah, you, you give a mighty carve right in. He's like, oh, God, laddie. Oh, that was a good one. That tickled me inside. Yeah, he's going to roll to make the comeback as he is a master warrior. He misses. First one will hit. That's he may be a master warrior, but Cham is a master baiter. You're a master with one hand right now. Okay, so that's another three damage. So, yeah, he's he's kind of he's hobbling around pretty good. He's basically at, at about half health right now. Uh, but he's going to still be able to swing back. That one will hit. Okay, so that's 29 damage. All right. Oh First one hits. Seven. It is a mighty blow. So that one does get him a little bit more agitated. He is below half health. He is getting pissed off. And he is ready to throw down. He misses. That will hit. And that will hit. That is another 10. So let's see here. So he's, he's getting... He's pretty low now. He's... he's down into the single digits for his health. He's, he's looking pretty bad. So he, but he's still up. Oh, oh and this, this, this is literally the same that happened. Well, let's see what let's see what he rolls first. Yes, suffer. <laughs> oh, what is your health? I, I, well, I had six. Okay, so I'm gonna give you one chance to dodge this. You have to roll very high. You did not roll very high. <laughs> All right, he does the exact same thing. He stops right before he cleaves your face in half and says, thank you very much, tosses you a, a strong healing potion, and walks back inside. I'm going to sleep again. All right, you take the strong healing potion, and you spend another night. Uh, everybody else, I'm just going to say you're comatose for another day. So you guys are super well-rested. So, Jam, you're going to get an extra plus five to your HP just for now. All right, Quaid comes back out again. You ready for round three, laddie? You've been pooping in me long for two days. <laughs> three center, baby. Let's go. You rolled two for initiative, so you're probably not going to get that. Yeah, dude. It's, it's <laughs> rich you roll, Yeah, you're, you're going rich first. It's me, dude. You're going first. Oh, God. Okay, they both miss, unfortunately. That'll, that'll hit. All right, 17. So it could have been a lot worse. All right, it's your turn. All right, that hits. And that hits. Those are both crits. All right, it is a crit, so it's double, so that's six, but you give a mighty blow with both of them, and you basically nick his chest with both of the gashes. Uh, so he is uh, he has like kind of like an X carved on his chest, like Zoro style now. And he is going to come back, and he misses horribly. All right, the second one hits. All right, so one damage. Bro! All right, so he's going to come back. That will not hit. Okay, all right, that one hits. All right, so that's another four damage to him. So he's at about half health right now. Ooh, that'll hit. How much health do you have left? I have five. All right, so yeah, you're up. Oh, shit, what first what? first yeah. one will hit. Ooh, that's an eight, so that, that's a good one. So he's... Oh, well, usually by this time, he'll roll in that 20 again. All right, close enough. See, see, what I see, see what I mean? <laughs> oh, you, you, you did great, so. See if I charge. No, I don't dodge. <laughs> No, you do not. He does the exact same thing to you again. Fuck it! I'm going to sleep again! As you are sleeping, Wade comes out to you and wakes you up. He has built a small fire outside of his house and he beckons you to sit down. God damn it. Are you, are you going to go over and sit with him? Yeah, I'll just sit with him. <laughs> Hi, good. laddie. You've been pooping in Milan for three days. <laughs> I can't let it continue, you understand. Tomorrow's your last day. If you can't get it from me tomorrow, then I'm sorry, but I gotta kick you off the mountain. 
I gotta clean the poop out of me lawn. <laughs> Doesn't like poop it used to be so vibrant and green. I mean, now it's just got poop. He hands you a piece of beef jerky. I <laughs> eat the beef jerky as he walks it out. Them. It's good for you, laddie. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Because of the beef jerky that he gave you, all of your bowel syndromes have been relieved for the next 24 hours. You will no longer poop on his lawn. You also gain an additional plus 10 to your HP. <laughs> the next morning arises. Quaid comes out again and says this is your last chance and engages you in combat. <laughs> he goes first, apparently. Wait, what? He got an at 20 for initiative. <laughs> and he misses horribly. That will be a hit. That will definitely hit as well. And it's still a two, so. All right, so you do a total of seven damage, which is all right. So he's going to he's gonna come back now. Keep in mind, Velnos, you're actually awake enough where you're watching the final match. He misses again. That will hit. That will miss. All right, so you do another four damage to him. So he's a little bit more bloodied. He's not quite halfway there. He's got about lost about a third of his health. This is again. That will miss. That one will hit. Eight. Oh, eight. That is a mighty swing with your free hand. Uh, so that cleaves him pretty good. So he's at about half health now, maybe a tiny, tiny bit below it. That will also miss. That will hit. That will miss. Another eight. Okay, so you cleave him again. So he's, he's not looking too good right now. He's kind of... He's kind of wobbly. I mean, he's, he's he's gotten sliced up for the last three days in a row. He's starting to feel it as kind of a residual at this point. So he's going to try a targeted attack this time right on your side. Oh. That's good. That's going to hit. Okay. So he does 18 damage to you. But he does enough damage to your side where you, you might not be able to dodge when the time comes if you have to do a sacrificial dodge. So you're still up, though. Those will both hit. Five and a nine. All right, so... You wind him right down to his last health, and he is basically on his knee. He, he can barely move. He's going to try one last attack just to punch you in the face as a final fuck you, and that's really all he can do. All right, he, since he's taking, like, four negatives to that, that's only going to be a 12, so that will miss. So he that's his final thing. He's just kind of on the ground collapsed right now. He's, he's reaching down towards his belt to try and get a health potion so that he doesn't pass out. I sit down next to him. Pull out my ale and hand it to him. All right, laddie. The last one was good. The last one was good. Oh, God, me groin. Oh, God. I didn't fall in any poo, did I? Not yet. Thank you, laddie. I pull out the drugs. I want some now. Aye, laddie. We're hitting the fucking bomb. All right, he rolled as well, so he's, he's relatively okay. Velnos, yeah, you are there. You can take a hit off the bomb. Um, Although you did... Uh, you immediately took a hit and passed out again. I am fucked up. Yeah, no, you're out. That's you're all out. Needed. Well, actually, That's Quaid and Quaid is awake. After several hours, you wake up, and Quaid uh, is sitting outside of his house with the Dragon Slayer sword leaning up against the wall. He, he waves you to come over. And I do. All right, laddie. You beat me fair and square. Took you four tries, though, but you did it. You can have me baby here. I don't get to use her for much anymore anyway. It's usually shooing away the birds. But there's a catch, you see. I'm not exactly the strong dwarf they make me out to be. You see, these gauntlets here, which I'm also going to give you, are the way that I lift this massive sword. They make it so that it weighs as much as a regular sword. Only about five to six pounds. And if you have the gauntlets and you're not touching the sword, they just work normally. They still good armor. You can still wear them. They still work fine. But really, if they're more than 10 feet away from the sword, then you can't lift it. You feel the whole weight. So yeah, you have that sword now. So you can carry that around with you. Sweet. As long, as long as it's within 10 feet of the gauntlets, you will not feel the full weight of it. I leave him one of my swords. He says thank you. The sword is very nice. I'll cherish it. And I'll cherish this. Thank you, laddie. I don't need a sword any bigger than this anyway. No cutting horses in half for old Quaid no more. He bids you on his way and says that there's a small path that goes down the back way of the mountain in case you want to use it. All right, you make your way back down. Velnos, you're still passed out on the cliffside. So you can climb down now that you've noticed that uh, Cham has finished his trial of strength. Um, and Raka has secured another job for you. Sweet. Do we have to roll anything to climb down? Uh, it'll be a dexterity roll. All right, that's good enough. You actually make it down to the ground. All right, so you have achieved your weapon, um, and like I said, Raka has something for you. Uh, so now you're all back down there. Kane, you have now awakened, awakened from your slumber as a new Raka. Now Raka has procured some work for you, clearing out a threat in the mine that is worth a 
apparently at least a thousand gold to the uh, the foreman of the, of the quarry. Keep in mind, it is still daytime. You guys can do whatever you want in town. There's really no, I mean, I can say town, it's a quarry, so it's just a bunch of dwarves, sweaty dwarves mining stuff. I'm going to go to the, uh, the tavern. Okay, you go to the dwarven tavern that's there. It's dirty, it's small, and the doorways are about a foot. Too short for me? Yes, you are too tall for me. I walk, I walk around with my big, big shiny sword, and I'm like, Mead. Mead. Bloody, what the hell are you doing? I am thirsty. Do I'm you thirsty. have money? I, I just drop a fucking gold, a <laughs> gold coin. And he drops a very, mm. very, very, very large pitcher of mead in front of you and says there are three more of those waiting for you for that price. I'm just going to down that. All right, roll Constitution. 11. Okay, so you're drunk, but you're not blackout, drop down on the floor, drooling all over yourself. He feels it. I'm going to drink the other one. You're going to drink the second of three. Yep. Okay, you're going to have to roll again. Okay, uh, you are now to the point where you are falling down drunk. You are not quite unconscious. Uh, I'm drinking the other one. Okay, you're going to have to Okay, roll. And you're out. <laughs> you hit the table like a ton of I spent, you are I spent three days up there. Three giant things in mead is what I deserve. Yep, and you will remain passed out for the next three hours. Um, so now that Cham is passed out drunk, Raka, you are there. And also, as you notice, there at Cham in the bar, uh, there is a bard that is also sitting there uh, who sees not only you guys standing outside, but Cham passed out at the bar and is kind of curious what's going on since most of the time there are not travelers. Yes. I'm going to try and seduce the bard. Sub Dyke, you want to buy some weed? <laughs> <laughs> can I kick? Can I kick this skeevy drug dealer right in the dick? Uh, okay, so so there's there's a few things that are going on here. Raka, are you legitimately trying to antagonize? I'm trying to sell some weed. <laughs> okay. He called me a dyke. Okay, so that you're going to try and kick him in the balls. Yeah. All right, so you're gonna roll a d20. <laughs> well, that, that's the thing, though, is you're not expecting her to kick you right in the balls. Like you said, you're just trying to sell drugs. So this is actually kind of an attack of opportunity. So that's actually going to negate the targeting effect. Uh, so at 11, it will it will not hit your balls, unfortunately. That will miss. However, it was close enough where you are now um, aware of it. So if you want to initiate combat, you can. It just grazed the nut. Well, basically, you just kicked him in the thigh. The villain has rolled a 14 to seduce. Lesbian, okay. By the way. Uh, so, Vash, you're going to have to roll to resist unless you want to give in to his manly temptations. I'm resisting. I ain't fucking... Okay, you're going to have to roll to resist and see if you do. Watch you him get roll advantage roll because he's all about the pussy. Roll d20? Yep, roll a d20. No, my character's all about the pussy. She Watch should get advantage on that. Oh, yeah, she should get advantage on that. Okay, so you rolled a 15, so with advantage, it's probably like a 17. So, yeah, you are able to resist... Uh, Velnos' attempts to seduce you. Yeah, get out of here. You, you want to buy some weed or not? Sure, I'll buy some weed. All He's right. So uh, wasting time on this Chiquita. She clearly doesn't know what's good. Hey, man, she just said she wanted to buy some weed. It's 15G. 15G? Can I get a discount? The fuck you going to get a discount for? You don't get discounts because you've got pussy, man. Just fucking 15 a G. Well, they're I having their argument. Kane, what are you doing? Let's go get Walk shit him. fucked. All right, you're going to go up to the counter. Cham has already passed out on the bar. Damn, let's do this. Okay, so the bartender comes up to you. Ah, you know what do you want? Big beer. Big beer. How big a beer you want? You want a beer you can take a bath in? Yes! All right, that'll be one goal. Deal. All right, he literally brings out a bathtub that's filled with beer. I am going to try and chug the whole thing. (laughs) (laughs) Roll constitution. Oh, no. Oh. All right, so you managed to drink probably about a fifth of the bathtub before you finally pass out drunk on the floor. Uh, what's left, the uh, bartender then pours back into a massive barrel and boards up again. So you are also passed out along with Shane. I was going to grab him, bring him closer to me, like... No, you're, you're out. Like, you're out. out. I know, like, uh, like well, I'm going to sleep. I'm just going to... All right, you 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 kind of drag him barrel. over to you, so he's kind of sleeping like next to you somehow. You guys are sleeping together for whatever reason. All right, so back to the argument. So, Bash, are you gonna buy some drugs? No, I'll pass this time. Rocker, you going to try and convince him? No, man, just tried to kick me in the balls. 
I'm gonna try and wink wingman with Raka and try to convince. Okay, so you're gonna try and make a dual roll to convince. That means Raka, you're gonna have to roll as well. All right, Raka. Oh my god! <laughs> oh you my god! Die. Okay, so Bash, you're gonna have to roll. <laughs> what is he still trying to fucking seduce me? No, I think he's trying to. Uh, I think he's still trying to sell you drugs. Yeah, we're trying to sell you the drugs. Come on, man. Okay. So, as suddenly as it came on, you suddenly have a craving for narcotics. That's bullshit. Yeah, well, they convinced you. Now, what are you guys going to wind up trying to sell? No, hold on a second, man. I don't like that shit. I'm trying to sell my lollipop, man. This stuff is rare. What are you talking about? Oh, right? Get on trees, man. I help you try to sell your products, and you come into me with that shit, I say? I got one of these left. I'll throw your ass over the wall, Mauer. You, 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 what now, Chiquita? Okay, uh, okay, I'll buy, I'll buy Hoden's drugs be because I see a hot chick right over there and I want to hit on her. Hey, stuff, give some a little green dragon. All right, that'll be thirty silver. That's two grams. Okay, here, here, have the silver. Get two grams of green dragon. Uh, Rocky, you have still not informed anybody about the job you've been trying to do. Oh right, yeah. man, here. Here, I got, I got a new fucking folio with, with stuff. Here, look it over here. I'm gonna read the folio. So, a creature in the mines, and they need someone to investigate. How much are they paying again? I can't read this. Small ass letters. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. You write so small. You read these tiny ass words. <laughs> yeah, no, he, him and Kane are both passed out now. Hey wizard, I'm gonna poke Kane with my fuck. You're gonna you're gonna try and wake him up by poking. I'm gonna him. I'm gonna wake up Kane. Hey wizard, Kermit man. Uh, all right, are you gonna poke him? Or are you gonna smack him? Uh, man, I'm gonna start by poking him. If he doesn't like move by poke, I'm gonna start kicking him lightly. Okay, uh, <laughs> so we'll start out with the poking. So Kane, roll a nat twenty to or roll a twenty to. Roll a nat twenty. I just changed that, didn't I? Holy shit, he did. <laughs> I am God! What the fuck, man? I don't okay, even know what that I, does. He's okay. wide the fuck awake and dead sober somehow. After okay. What the fuck do you want? Yeah, these are letters are tiny and you're a wizard. You guys can mm. read. Fuck does that have to collate with anything? <laughs> Can you just read the paper, man? It's it like it's money. <laughs> Give me just... a gram of that dragon, and then I'll read anything you want, big boy. If you read this, by the end of this job, there's going to be more than just a gram of green dragon. You got a deal. Okay. I see a smoking hot blonde sitting at a, a, at a at the bar stool, and I want to try hitting on her. Uh, you're going to have to roll persuasion. Oh, yeah. Oh. Roll an 18. Oh, you look just like a happy meal, dude, you baby. She has no idea what you're talking about. She just wants to fuck you. I was afraid she was going to the Happy Meal destination because of the children. I got scared. I have a kitten. You can pet mine if you pet, if I can pet yours. You, you've already secured the laying. She wants to fuck you. <clears throat> for the viewers at home, kitten, kitten is slang for pussy. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> okay, so the only one that's still passed out is Jam. So, Belmos, you rolled... Uh, so, which which one is which here? So, you rolled... 20 sneak and 18 dicks. Um, yeah. So... You pull Champ's pants down while he's while he's passed out drunk at the bar, and he doesn't know. Uh, can I go to the bartender real quick? Yeah, you can. So, Kane, now you're talking to the bartender. Excuse me. You know where a lovely fellow such as myself would be able to acquire adhesive? Adhesive, boy? How do you think we are? We're dwarves. We're simple people. We don't need to stick things together. Nah, I'm a dwarf, too, and I kind of need to stick some shit. You're a gnome, that ain't the same thing. Yeah, that's racist. We uh, used to eat you. Correct. Are you coming mm. on to me? No, you little weirdo. Look, if you want some adhesive, <laughs> go across town. There's a print shop. They print the only newspaper that goes to Grey Forge. Okay, yeah, they did you just say that from the beginning? Because nobody ever reads the paper. We just use it to wipe our asses when there's no paper. On that, we agree on. Have a good day. Right, all right, I'm going to go to the store and buy some adhesive. Just all right, so you're going to go to the... Uh, so he said he just said it's across town. You don't know 100% where it is, okay? And you're going to have to roll for uh, perception to see if you can find it. Ooh, you rolled a three. Okay, so you don't find the print shop. Instead, you just kind of wander into a horse farm as one as the farmer appears to be leading a horse away to be sold off. You don't know for what purpose, but the horse appears to be older. 
So, all right, so you successfully seduced her, so she wants to bang you, so you can decide whatever you want to do with that. You can get a room in the motel, you can go fuck in the alleyway, and then you can do whatever the fuck you want to do to her. Fuck her in the back alley, alley shit, garbage up her ass, go right ahead. I'll, I'll choose the motel room, because I'm, I'm, I'm fancy like that. All right, the bartender comes over and explains to you that it's ten silver per night for the, for the, uh, the basic motel room, which is located on the second story of the tavern. Oh, you can take the silver, sir. Okay, you give him ten silver, he gives you a room key to upstairs. Come on, let's go, Cecilia. Alright, you continue upstairs and open the room and go inside. You then Cecilia then closes the door behind you and proceeds to lock it with the key. She appears to be very hungry. Um, I'll just, I'm gonna throw her onto the bed and uh, undress her. Alright, so that's gonna be a strength plus dexterity roll. Oh god, you are a clumsy motherfucker. Okay, so... Um, the first one is to throw her onto the bed, so you, you chuck her a little bit, and she lands with her butt on kind of like the side of the bed, and then falls off and onto the floor. Um, she looks slightly, uh, perturbed, but she's still, uh, she's still willing to go through with it. As you attempt to undress her, um, your fingers get caught, and she then has to do it for you. However, at the end of the day, she is still naked and ready to go. Now you go, yeah, I think you should probably roll the, uh... You're gonna have sex with you, you're gonna have to roll a strength check. Okay. Or, or uh, really, it's just a sex roll. Oh, come on! You, there is some arousal, however, um, your technique is flawed. As you are uh, performing your various oral actions, uh, she grabs your head and proceeds to bury it into her groin. Uh, you're starting to be able to not breathe. If you want to keep going, you're going to have to roll a constitution save. If you want to break free, you're going to have to roll a strength save. Nah, I'm, I'm going to keep going. I'm all about... I'll, okay, I'll, I'll you're going to have to roll 17, you do not pass out. You keep going like a champ. However, as you glance up, she glances down at you, and you seem to notice that her eyes have been changed into something of a uh, very reddish color. All right, no, actually, I'll just keep going. The... Okay, then the 17 still applies, so you're just going to keep going. You then start to notice there appears to be very subtle changes in her physical stature, in her her, uh, her physical form. Oh my um, god, she's fat. Um, you start seeing what appear to be feathers growing next to you, so... All right, I'll roll wisdom. <laughs> okay, uh, roll 20 for wisdom. Four, fuck off. You seem to remember something similar to this when you were at a you were at a party and somebody handed you a drink a very long time ago. You remember that you just kind of went through it and it was okay. So uh, you're gonna keep going there. So I'm gonna leave you there for right now, and we're gonna go back downstairs and see what's up with the others. Cham, it's been a few hours. You are now awake. Beer. You want more beer? Beer. Buddy. I just gave you a bunch of it. You just woke up after passing out of the counter for the last two hours. You're taking up space that could be brought up by paying customers. I'm dropping 50 silver. Uh, I, all right, he'll bring, he brings the tub back out again, and it's now filled with beer. This is the only time I've ever had to use this tub twice in one evening. Okay, so it's, you begin <laughs> to try and drink what you can out of it. Uh, however, you fail miserably and collapse into the tub. So that you don't drown, the bartender pulls your face out and lies you down back on the bar. Am I passed out? Yes, you are passed out again. You rolled a five and you were already like on the verge of passing out again anyway. You're out for another three hours. 